What's up everyone? I'm Tyler. Welcome back to my channel and today we're doing things a little bit different than what we usually do. Usually I try and just stick to just random horror content and I figure a video game that is horror would fit into that. I've tried it once before but that wasn't, I don't know, it just was kind of half-assed and didn't really work out so well. I didn't really fully understand that you don't really need to see like the full video. It's okay to cut because you know when I would watch it I'd be like oh wait what what happened in between here to there but not everyone wants that. That's just not desire so I'm just always trying new things out. I play a decent amount of video games however I don't really play a whole lot of horror stuff. I'll play different horror games but I, I'm not like obsessed whenever anything comes out. I went through Alien Isolation and I essentially went through it with a guide because I was just repeatedly dying and non-stop like heart palpitations. <laughs> I don't do well in with the like especially first person kind of like scary games especially when you're like helpless and <laughs> Uh, yeah. Today we're doing Resident Evil 7, which is essentially that in a nutshell. <laughs> so, I don't know how this is gonna go because there's just, for a lot of reasons, I'm very much a coward when it comes to horror video games, and I think that the reason for that is the fact that when I'm watching a movie, it's like, okay, this is a set thing, like, I can pick up on the cues, blah blah blah. In a horror video game, you're you're the director you are behind like you're the one that says how like the pacing of the game went oh i'm gonna go through that door there's gonna be some kind of jump scare you are the one that has to step through that so it could be just it can be a lot and i'm not the biggest fan of that i actually beat alien isolation with the help of a guide which probably wouldn't have thought i would actually admit but uh, that's the case that's just a fact um then i've also played i played quite a few of the resident evils like i've played resident evil 1 and 2 and i've made it most of the way through 4 and i think halfway through 5 and other than like the side things and like i don't think i ever played 6 or 3 nemesis but otherwise i'm acquainted with the series let's get into this i know that <laughs> I wish. <laughs> I want so badly to just do easy or even just do like, it's like, oh yeah, I'm hitting normal here and then just actually go up to easy, but <sighs> so, um, yeah, hey, baby. Gonna be this coming is home always soon. a good start. Yay! I'm sure something very good happened to this lady. To something good husband. definitely happened. She's good. Can we just talk about how crazy good, like, video game graphics have gotten. Like, this is a Resident Evil game and that was like photorealistic. That's pretty damn incredible. Look at this. This is crazy. There's always, there's always just like little things that don't like match up when it comes to like the uncanny valley kinds of stuff. Like right there it's like just minor things in her mouth but otherwise Especially you only give me like a couple seconds to look at that and be like, oh yeah, that's real life. That's a real thing. It's hey, it's, uh, very, very it's impressive. Easy. And just like right here, this is this all looks great. The only yeah. issue is that like the uh, the car just kind of feels like it's floating there. So yeah, the basic gist of this game is that this guy's wife disappeared going doing some random. I think she's part of this TV show. They look at various haunted spots and they essentially go to what sounds like the Leatherface house. <laughs> that's, I mean, that's what all of this looks like. It seems very Leatherfacey. Resolution in the car, 720. Outside, 240. Oh, there we go. Now, it, <laughs> now, it's, now it's better. I assume the stuff before was just like a cinematic overlay that you were looking at and that's why it looked so odd. I would never do this. I'm very curious if there's something with this game where it's like, oh, you go into this area and the killer just gets you immediately and it's game over. Just like various things. I would I would get a kick out of that. 
but obviously a game like this where it's a lot more like exploration would be kind of hard to do because then if you like accidentally come across the <laughs> this uh different ending or different beginning and where you just like go home you can just be like um i'm pretty sure i beat Res like resident evil 7 but it was super short and not scary <laughs> Well, that's a guy. This game is really beautiful. It kind of reminds me of, what is it, Fire? Fuck, what is that? Fire something? Firewatch? Firewatch, that's what it's called. Just a very, very pretty looking game. Jesus. The horse? My brightness setting's not correct. I feel like I can't see this very well. Huh. So I'm thinking it's a horse. That seems like a pretty safe bet. And uh, all these hanging saws does not make me feel good about this being anything other than Leatherface 2.0. So I do know that this is a Sawyer family style setup. And when I say Sawyer family, that's the family from Le uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. So outside of just like that, I... I don't know much of anything about it. I don't know if this is much more grounded than, than all the other ones. Obviously it seems like that so far, but you don't really know until you get more into it. I also don't understand what this guy's thinking in that it appears that he's coming here at dusk. Does not seem like the best decision. And I cannot see anything. Oh, fuck. Look at that. Literally cannot see anything. This is this is gonna go terribly. Okay. Oh, well. At least I have a flashlight now. That uh does not make things much better. Oh, that's a creepy person. Ugh. ugh, ugh. What? What is that? Ugh. Okay. See, like, little things like this. Like, I would like it if it, if, like, in this game, which, I mean, maybe there is. I don't, maybe, I, maybe I'm just saying this, but I actually do have this mechanism implemented, but, like, I would love it if it's, like, a set number of things of, like, hey, you're just making, you're going through way too much stuff. You're hitting too many things, and suddenly the, the bad dude just comes out and murders you. Like, that'd be cool to see. So I'm still not hearing much of anything. <laughs> I don't like it. Well, this is not looking good for our wife. Not looking good at all. That is what it is, right? Wife? Oh yeah, that's a jail cell. That's not good. Oh, <laughs> Oh, that dude, that dude's gonna be in my nightmares later. Ugh. Okay. Wait, no, don't. So, I'm gonna assume, wait. First floor, second floor, then third floor. What's the second and a half floor? Is that the one that's missing? It should be basement, first floor, second floor, third floor. There is not three floors to this house. Huh. Does it mean the attic? Maybe that's what it means. Probably just means the attic. We've got part two Jason just hanging out. Looks like as the old mom. I don't want to hit buttons. I feel like I see things in this and I'm just like, I don't want to do that one. Uh oh. Derelict house footage. June 1st. No date. Who needs dates? Alrighty. Oh, hey, I can move. That was two fucking years ago. I don't do ADR. I don't do ADR. These kinds of shows, like 90% of them are done through voiceover. Fuck do you mean you're not doing ADR? Is this an actual, like, TV show that they're shooting for, or is this just a YouTube channel? I mean, not to say, obviously, YouTube is practically TV these days, but I just mean, like, I 
I don't understand why this is a three-man crew coming in at midnight. Oh. Right, let's go. Almost missed it. This is so cool, though. I really like this because, like, you're a character you don't know with a cool filter on, and it's like, yeah. Your characters, the person you are right now is 100% expendable. You could easily die at any moment. This game definitely has some lip syncing issues. Oh, but a good cameraman like you, Clancy? You stick with me. Oh, now he cares? No, now we're best buds. I'm not sure about anyone else, but I'm pretty sure I would have a strict policy of like don't try to fuck with each other while we're in a scary house. If something like this happened, it would be like, immediately be like, oh, something went wrong, we need to get out of the house, rather than like, oh, maybe he's just fucking with us, we need to search around more. Okay, but seriously, this guy, like, disappeared super quickly, and like, no sign whatsoever. <laughs> I mean, I definitely agree, but why do you need to find Andre. This is coming from someone whose best friend is named Andre. Like, you don't need to find Andre. It's not necessary. Hmm. I ain't no pussy. Need a nice hero shot of me. Yeah, who worry about it. So, uh, yeah, I got it. Ain't no thing. Ain't nothing gonna get me down here. What do you see? What is it? Nothing. I don't see anything. Oh. So, <laughs> bad news, they're all dead, though I am confused. So why is it that she, why wasn't she there? It sounded like she, it sounded like they were like, oh yeah, she was off doing this other random thing. It's like, no, she wasn't around, so what's, yeah, whatever. This house is so disgusting. Ugh. And you now have tinnitus. God, this game just looks amazing. This game's what, two years old at this point, and it looks this good? Not bad. Not bad at all. Ugh. So the thing that worries me right now is I'm going through all these spoopy areas that I feel like I'm gonna have to come back through eventually. Jesus. <laughs> Uh, legitimately my arms have like goosebumps from that. <laughs> Stupid jump scare. I don't understand all these photos. Now I will say, once I get like even further into it and like there's any like dialogue happening, chances are I'm gonna be like super quiet on that so that I actually understand what the hell is going on. I don't like playing this with the headset. Hey, look, wife. Dead, turned, dead, turned. Huh, that's not a good sign. And Mia, it says nothing on it. Absolutely nothing. So I guess that is still zombie related because it says turned, which I assume zombies. Because, you know, Resident Evil. Makes sense. Come on, wifey. Let's go. Mia. Oh, thank God I found you. It's me. It's Ethan. Ethan? Ethan? Are you alright? You shouldn't be here. Her face does not look quite as photorealistic when it comes to that. No, no, <laughs> when it comes to, like, in-game stuff. <laughs> not that it doesn't look good. It looks great. Did anyone see you? Did he see you? Hey, who else is here? What the hell's going on? Daddy's coming. Daddy? We need to go. We need to Who are you down. cheating on me with? Why are you calling him daddy? Are you gonna tell me what's going on? Baby, you've been gone for three and years. And you're calling this random guy daddy. Should I be like turning off my flashlight? Because I feel like that kind of just gives us away. What? What is this place? 
fuck are you looking at? You're supposed to be. Oh, maybe you're supposed to be looking at me. <laughs> I get it. Games have a tough job, but that lip sync is so bad. I think it's just that everything else looks so good, so, and then like seeing where it's like, oh, they're talking. Oh, um, they're being ventriloquists or something. Like it's just very much doesn't seem right. Ooh, what a nice door. Looks like it has some varnish on there. It's gone. It's gone. I mean, what? What did you just say? <laughs> We're gonna be a family now that you're here? That is not what I want to hear. Oh, hello, creepy doll. No, leave me alone! Oh, what the fuck? I'd leave you for five seconds. E001. So I'm gonna assume that's the grandma and she's the first patient. I'm just gonna make like crazy predictions. I don't think that's a crazy one though. Is this the same house? How is this the same house? Oh, it's actually still in service. That's quite the twist. I have a map! <gasps> oh, so I'm coming up on the door that was locked. Okay. Wait, and is that just back? Oh, Alright, cool. I like when games are consistent with what the map it button is. First aid. First aid. Should I be going back down the stairs? Because that thing is locked, and this I can't get through. I'm confused. Oh, jeez. I think this is the right way. Christ. Um. Um. Jesus fucking. I'm trying to resist. RT, RT. This almost seems evil deadish. Like that was super evil dead. Oh, you're all good. Getting stabbed in the hands, you're fine. The fucking How do I help you? What the fuck am I supposed to do? Oh, at least she's still on the floor. Not fucking getting up, going in random places. Oh. This seems super evil dead. What? 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 I'm dead, I can never leave. I shouldn't be killing her. <laughs> like, but that's you just put a fucking hatchet through your wife. What? What? Okay. That's murder. That's some straight up murder. 
Fuck whoever is on the end of this line. You really shouldn't have come here. Who's this? And what the fuck is going on? My name's Zoe. There should be a way out through the attic. Attic? Go there. Now. Way out through the attic. I don't know when a good stopping point is. Probably after this. Once I once I meet whoever the fuck is talking to me. Maybe that's when it'll go well. Boom. See what's in this shit. A fuse. Hey, I know where that goes. What? How are you standing? You should not be standing. Yeah. Oh, I don't like passing through doorways. Jesus. It's okay. It's okay. It's me. I know you didn't mean to hurt me. <laughs> you shouldn't have done that. I don't have a hand. That's a problem. Something to turn on so I can fucking. Do I not have anything to fix this? Um. Um. This seems like a problem. Okay, well, I guess I'm just doing this then. Ah. Still super creepy way up into stairs. God. Handgun ammo. Oh, and a handgun. Yeah. Um, does my hand grow back? Oh, not real video game. I'm somehow even more scared now that I have a handgun. I feel like things could go much worse now. Yes, more ammo. Give me all the ammo. Ooh, let me go out the wind. Yeah. Jesus. I feel like that's uh, probably the most appropriate spot to end because <laughs> I don't know where the hell else I would have been uh, stopping it anyway. So yeah, that's uh, really <laughs> that's really it. Uh, we'll see. We'll see if this ends up going on. I have a feeling it will, just because I enjoy doing it. So, but I've also not really edited one of these before, so we'll see how the edit goes because that also kind of factors in to if I enjoy doing these videos or not. Well, we shall see and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. And <laughs> yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Hey friends, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff and check out this video that YouTube thinks that you would like.